Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to Bioshock in our Let's Replay series where we try to delve a bit deeper into the lore and, uh, well, the Easter eggs in this lovely, this amazing game. So uh, we're heading into the Batosphere station, well, the Batosphere itself, to head to our next stop, which is uh, still not spoiled by us, for us, but uh, there we have it, Fort Frolic is uh, our next area, so here we go. And uh, well, Fort Frolic, I said before, is uh, my favorite area of the game. You're almost there. The Sphere to Ryan is up on ahead. So uh, we need to head over there towards Ryan the Hephaestus to to station. To named Sander Cohen. Cohen's an artist, says some. He's a Section 8, says I. I've seen all kinds of cutthroats, freaks and hard cases in my life. So Atlas' signal is getting overridden by music, as you can clearly hear. Um, I'm kind of afraid of talking over what's going to happen now, but I'm going to quickly explain. As I said before, each area in Bioshock is themed around a certain aspect of humanity. And uh, in Fort Follick, it's actually art, all kinds of art and amusement. So we have theater, music, uh, paintings and the like. So uh, every aspect of art. So let's enter and uh, see what we can find. So our objective is mainly to go towards the next metro station, Hephaestus over there, where we can uh, reach Andrew Ryan himself. This seems to be destroyed as well. And we have uh, slot machines, so we can gamble. And I think there's a, a trophy for getting the jackpot, which shouldn't take all that long. So I'm going to just quickly use these a few times. This is also really funny. There's a fortune teller here, but he always gives you... Bullshit. Look at the bright side. Maybe it'll be quick and painless. So, uh, yeah, always very sarcastic and, well, just plain bad. Ah, perhaps in a past life you did something terrible to somebody. Yeah, there we go. So, a very bad fortune teller. So, let's activate these thingies a few times as well. So, I was trying to get the jackpot, but luck isn't at my side right now, so I'm gonna have to leave that for a bit later on. Unless I have a uh, start developing a gambling addiction, right? So there we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep Electro Bolt handy just in case. Uh, there's a U in Fent, which I don't really need right now, I think. So let's keep the hacking. I'm gonna start keeping the hacking to a minimum. Uh, funny thing about Fort Frolic, there's these uh, items behind these glass panels. You can actually break them, but if you do, you uh, trigger the alarm. So. Most of the time not really useful to uh, just break the glass because you would get uh, attacked anyway. So there's the entrance to Fort Frolic. We can't go there because we're supposed to be going somewhere else. But uh, something just passed over the ceiling over there and there's an automatic hack tool. Thank you for that. Um, so that was weird. There's, a, there's nobody there. But hey, there's our first scare because Fort Frolic is also... The scariest area in Rapture, uh, if I might argument that. But, let's just head towards the next uh, Batosphere. Oh no, it closes, what a surprise. And then this happens. I would say enjoy. That's better. Atlas Ryan. Atlas Ryan. Da 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 da. Time was, you could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to those two blowhards and hello to an evening with Sander Cohen. So Atlas already mentioned that uh, Andrew Ryan gave the keys to, of, to Fort Frolic to uh, Sander Cohen and in his mind a complete nut job. And uh, well, we're gonna find out just how correct Atlas really was. So now we lost contact with Atlas, he, we can't contact him anymore so we won't be hearing him for the duration of this part. 
I haven't seen a sign of and then this happens down here in months. Let's see if you're just another Johnny come lately. Something more? Hello, spider splicers. I'm not afraid. So, extra nutrition tree. Don't really need that. You gain extra health from snacks and bandages. And now this guy just died. There we go. So we can hear plenty more. There we go. So, uh, Sander Cohen's first test is uh, to send a few. Oh, that was stupid. Is to send a few uh, spider splices our way. Here, a burning corpse. Here, another burning corpse. I think that thing is gonna explode, right? Yeah. I've waited so long for something tasty okay. to that come was to this little anticlimactic. Room. But all that pass are yokels and rules. Where are my manners? Come in! Come in! Sander Cohen awaits you at the Fleet Hall. The Fleet Hall. And uh, we're gonna enter the Fleet Hall right away. Because there's a bit of an oil slick in the way. <gasps> ah, for fuck's sake, come on. Let's see if we can't gather anything from these spider splices. Doesn't look like it. And then we can enter the main area of uh, Fort Frolic, mainly the uh, fleet hall. The oh, I'm mistaken, the atrium, sorry. The atrium. Let's hack this thing really quickly. We have a few auto hacks. I'm just going to use one of those. And uh, so now we have a vending machine we can use later on. Uh, one of the creepy aspects, because I already mentioned that... Uh, Fort Frolic is one of the creepier areas there are, are these guys. So these are wax statues, plaster statues, and they're killed humans that were, uh, well, made into statues. Because you can see they slit, they, are, they have slit throats. Missions of those boors, Atlas and Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes. The artist knows there is richer earth to till. For example, I test you, little moth. But for a reason, I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies, and some, some burn like a moth at the flame. Come now into my home. And yeah, I, I mean, this place is just simply amazing. So, um, this building is also one of the first buildings we saw when we entered Rapture via the Bathysphere. Because we could see the signs for the Fleet Hall and uh, Bella Mia's fashion and the Eve's Garden from uh, outside. And Cohen's collection as well, I think. So there's a lot to do in this area. So I'm going to try to do this in a, in a bit of a structured way. But right now we just need to follow... Well, this, this uh, poor splicer was squashed by uh, something from up there. Not that I see that something was destroyed, weirdly enough. But hey, details. Um, so I think we don't really have an option right now. Most of the things will be closed off. Or am I mistaken? I appear to be mistaken. But we're going to start off with, uh, well, controlling the area a bit by hacking a few things. So let's just buy out that one. Um, and here you can see... A chest that we can open, Cohen's music muse box, and then we also have this thing which has a lock on it with a, a number pad, which we can't even access right now. So uh, two locked cases we can't access. So we need to head upstairs towards the fleet hall, uh, but I'm first going to check this lower area out first. That was first twice, and then just uh, take a few pictures of the camera. And then hack it. Um, I'm just going to quickly hack it. There we go. So that's ours for the taking. So let's take the first aid kit here as well. 
that guy. And uh, yeah, I think this would be a nice first area to go to. Uh, let's go with Insect Swarm. And let's enter this place. Come to the racket store. There we go. So that was somebody who uh, wasn't really, well, happy with the way and uh, Andrew Ryan, Sander Cohen is uh, handling the business here. And uh, well, he uh, asked us to come to the record store too if you want to face him, but uh, that will be for later on. So let's just quickly take a peek into the bathrooms here. And yeah, this doesn't look creepy at all. So there's a. Uh, Lovely statue in the corner here. I mean, look at that. It's it's art. It's plainly art. Look at that. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. We can flush the sink. Nice. A little distilled water. And these guys. Hello. Hello. Is there anything over here? Because this looks nice. Don't know what they're standing on. Because it's uh, filled with water, this place. But hey. That's that, I suppose. Ooh, look, lovely, 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 lovely art. So we're going to see, be seeing uh, a lot of that in these areas. So let's uh, check out with the ladies. There seems to be a destroyed first aid kit. And a turret! Hi! There we go, that's ours. Since we can auto-hack these things immediately. Uh, okay, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's just reload everything, because uh, there was an EVE hypo around here somewhere as well, but... But, uh, I'm just starting to realize that maybe it's better to just go towards the fleet hall first, because, uh, we might need that introduction by Sander Cohen first, so we have a bit more direction of where to go to. So let's go to the fleet hall, it's right over there. There's not much enemies around just yet either. So the Fleet Hall is the theater of uh, Rapture, which is actually really nicely designed as well. So let's head in and um, we need to be careful about the camera, of course. So let's wait until it ticks out. And let's just head towards the other side of it, underneath it. And of course, take a few pictures as usual. And just, well, I'm going to buy it out as well. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of money again sooner rather than later. So, uh, not in the registers though, for some reason. So, our arrow, we can't go right here. We can't go through the lower area. So, we're going to have to call the elevator first. There we go. And that, of course, triggers splices for some reason. So there's one splicer over there, which will probably be taken care of by the bots. I think there was another one here, yeah. Because we don't see these often, so hacking security bots automatically succeeds now as well. Which is also really, really handy. Let's just take the loot out of those and enter the elevator, which is a very, very tight space. For some reason. I'm never comfortable inside these elevators no, no, no. and now one of the coolest scenes in all of Bioshock Silence. so we can hear Sander Cohen giving uh, a bit of commentary on Fitzpatrick playing and there we have Fitzpatrick And I do love this musical piece as well. Once again, young Fitzpatrick, 
So Fitzpatrick is trying to play a piece by uh, Sander Cohn, which is actually a music piece that was created especially for this game. It's not something that existed before. But if you come closer, you can see that the piano is not oh just God, a piano. Fuck, let me out of there. Because it's wrapped in dynamite. Yeah. Come down now, little more. Life. Death. The burden of the artist is to capture. So another one of these uh, killed splicer statues. See young Fitzpatrick here on the stage. Use your camera. Take him as he is now, so I may remember him. So, uh, Cohen is a bit of a, a sick fuck, as uh, Fitzpatrick put it. And we need to take a picture of Kyle Fitzpatrick here, who he just blew up. So, uh, let's take our what camera. What are you waiting for? Fitzpatrick can't hold that pose forever. I think he can, Sander. So, there we go. Hey! A lovely picture of uh, the dead Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick caught in his moment of glory. Look it at seems that. You've got the eye of the shutterbug, little moth. Now, head to the atrium and place his photograph in my masterpiece. And so our collaboration commences. So we need to help out Sander Cohn with his masterpiece. Uh, which is a collection of pictures that we're gonna make and you might as well guess what the other pictures might be since we already had the audio diary of the man that uh, challenged us to go to the record store um, I think that door is now closed because we can't really exit the way we came because the arrow points us towards the, the side entrances over there so let's pick one and head in this direction there's also an area below the stage I think yeah so that's where we uh, we could exit as well. But what's the fun in that? Because over there are two turrets. So let's hack both of these. We can instantly hack these, of, of course, because of our, uh, well, our hacking skills. Let's also hack the safe. And let's see what's inside here. So proximity mine, two proximity mines, and first aid kits as well which are pretty handy. So let's check out the register here. Are there any items behind the turrets? I don't think so. I thought there was... They sometimes spawn another turret over here just to offset the two over there. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to get back up. Yeah, over here. So let's go to the sides here because there are a few more areas here as well. Um, we don't really need this health kit thing, so let's just whack it so nobody can use it. And leave the health kits down below. And I think we can open these, yeah. Um, just need to take a look around if there's nothing of interest. Because of course the interesting thing is over there on the balcony. Because there's a, a tonic right over there. Uh, but I think we can open all of these. And there we have another Eve hypo. We can actually jump onto these as well. So let's go to the other side right now. Because I think we can, can also hear a, a turret on the other side there. Because I think... Let's just whack this one as well. Uh, there's something... Machine gun rounds, don't need that. This one is locked. So the one with the tonic is locked. But the one next to it is not. So we could... Uh, by using a bit of parkour... parkour head over, the, over here. Standing display of athleticism. There we go, we get uh, a compliment of Sander Cohen. And we can get the Alarm Expert. A staple in the Hacksmart line of gene tonics, Alarm Expert uses your body's electrochemical composition to diffuse circuitry alarms in secure systems. Try it today. So two fewer alarm tiles while, while hacking. Uh, I think I'm gonna equip that, just in case. And now, well, Sander Cohen gives us a compliment, but uh, immediately charges us with defeating another Houdini splices as well because yeah and uh, Sander Cohn is actually in control of the splices over here I can't seem to exit so I'm gonna have to uh, get out yeah thank you so let's try and take out the Houdini splicer she's over there I am fighting fair this is interesting 
Increased damage plus plus, so I think we... Uh... Did she already die or what? What the... F oh, she was midway teleportation and that's why she... Uh... Um, right back at the you? I think she's behind here. Yeah, she's behind the stage. Where the hell is she? So, she disappeared again. Well, never mind. Yeah, I think she's stuck behind the stage somehow. Oh, no, she's not. God, mother... There we go. Thank you. What the? Was that was, was that seriously another one? Stop spawning. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello. Any more? A nice tune. That's been added. That's about it. So let's head back outside. We could take the elevator, but that's not really interesting, is it? I should go back down. Uh, and take the other route. Because, yeah, there's again a lot of nooks and crannies in this place. Um, I know why you've there we go. And the, the lighting changed. You've your own. One you'll paint with the blood of a man I once loved. Yes, I'll send you to Ryan. But first, you must be part of my masterpiece. Go to the atrium. Hurry now. My muse is a fickle bitch with a very short attention span. My muse is a fickle bitch with a very short attention span. That's something I always remembered for some reason. It's a really harsh line. So, there's another uh, audio vox in here, so let's listen to Stood Up Again. Again. Second time this week. Ever since my face was... Well, Steinman worked on me, but it was never the same since the blast. Me being alone so much gives a girl time to think. Who could hate me so much they'd ruin me like this? And what did I do to them? You know, I keep thinking of all them bandits and terrorists. Ryan's got locked up in Paula Square, and I get so mad. Sometimes I can hardly breathe. If I could only confront them, tell them what they did to me, how they're ruining everything for me, for rapture, maybe I'd, well, maybe I'd feel better. So, uh, Diane McClintock again, Andrew Ryan's girlfriend. Um, so the one that was disfigured by Fontaine's tugs, and then subsequently repaired by Steinman, just uh, starts to feel that she wants retribution for what Do they did to her. When I am dust... This is what they'll point to. My quad tick. My masterpiece. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, there goes the audio again. Don't be afraid. Touch it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dudes that had their throats slit for some reason. So we have four picture frames. So indicating that we need to take four pictures. So let's use one. And there we go. And there's Fitzpatrick, freed of his Look at that. And here's the glorious news. This is just the moment of conception. Out in this place, there are three men, all former disciples of mine, all connected by a common thread. Betrayal. Find them, little more. And immortalize their mortality in my quad tick. Go. Once they've been sent to their reward, you shall go to yours and to Ryan. So he, as well, also clearly has a, a grudge against Ryan because he wants to help us kill him. But first, we need to, tree, to kill three of his former disciples. We also got this thing. The crossbow, which is actually my favorite weapon in the game, just because it's, well, so, so fucking awesome! Because, uh, it kind of wrecks splicers. Is now open to you, my 
So there's a lot of uh, areas around here, so you can see most of them are closed, but some of them are not. So this is the seahorse, which is actually the, the well, the strip club. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Look, she's, she's naked on the seahorse, and there's three axes over there, so that's a strip club. Um, and we, we're also, I don't think if you, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but we're, and if we're in this area, we keep getting followed by a light over there. Which is fitting with the theater modus, right? So, uh, Sander Cohen said that the way to Poseidon's Plaza is open. But this place itself around the, the atrium is also pretty big as well. So, uh, let's take a look around here first now that we uh, have our objective. And, uh, yeah. So, let's first go to... I think this is the way to the record store. So, let's go here first. So, employees only is apparently unlocked. Uh, I'm gonna have to be careful because I think this just gets you to the other side of the bar. So let's go here first. The tailor. So another form of art if you uh, might or agree or not. What was that? So let's take the painting out of the way. Okay, that just went all over the place. I think I uh, fully researched you, right? Oh no, I didn't. You just want to talk. Well, I just want to take pictures. There we go. Apparently the water on the ceiling was enough for him to be extra electrocuted. Which is also pretty funny. Uh, so yeah, we have a safe here, so let's auto-hack that. Fancy, so more dollars at first aid kits. Nothing that we can really use. Uh, but there's a, a horrible secret in the back of this place. So let's. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you could have just reloaded that. So let's check this place out a bit. First aid kits we can't really use. Check out the register. Uh, nothing underneath the counter. But. In the back of this place, we can already see some white stains underneath the door there. Not the white sta stains that you might be thinking. And well, somebody got uh, plastered in here. And there's actually another uh, audio diary here. The Wild Bunny. The Wild Bunny. By Sander Cohen. I want to take the ears off, but I can't. I hop, and when I hop, I never get off the ground. It's my curse, my eternal curse. I want to take the ears off, but I can't. It's my curse, it's my fucking curse. I want to take the ears off, please, take them off, please. <laughs> so a bit of artistic expression from the, the hands of Andrew Ryan and well another fucked up scene as well because this guy is dressed as Andrew Ryan in front of a bunny mask uh, which is kind of the signature way of uh, depicting Sa Andrew Co uh, Sander Cohen god damn it I'm, I'm, I keep mixing it mixing him up with uh, Andrew Ryan and then three decapitated Heads, which is also very, very creepy. Uh, when we get back, nothing happens. Yeah, okay. I'm still wondering what would... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what would happen. Uh, now we can get into the cocktail bar. And there's another safe here, so let's hack that as well. There's also a camera, but I think we're in the clear right now. And if we jump... Oh, oh no, we're pretty in the clear. So three pictures. Oh, I'm looking at the U invent apparently. So let's buy this out because I'm, I'm not really in the mood. And there's another splicer coming closer. Uh, so there is a U invent here as well, underneath the camera. Uh, I'm wondering if I need it already. Hello. I'm not a bad person. 
and the bots take care of him easily. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break here now that we're in the in the cocktail bar. Uh, I think there was was there something lying over here? No, there wasn't. So we're gonna take a little break right here. Um, so uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. Uh, so thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye. Goodbye.